Welcome to Alcatraz. Well, good morning, YouTube. I am in San Francisco. The bridge is on US Route 101 in the state of California. Length is 8,980 uh, 8, feet, about 1.7 miles, 2.74 kilometers. It's 90 feet wide, 746 feet high. Pretty big. Construction started on the 5th of January 1933 and construction ended on the 9th of April 1937 and it opened on the 27th of May 1937 the toll was 50 cents per vehicle it's equivalent to about ten dollars in today's money because of the suicide rate of over 1500 deaths Suicide barriers have been erected at a cost of 200 million, uh, completed in January 2024. As for the weather and wind, it has been closed only three times in its history. December 1951, December 1982 and December 1983 for wind of over 70 miles an hour. Exit on the right. And I've parked here. Hopefully it's still there. I don't know what the stuff is when I get back. Hey, I am off to Alcatraz. The swim from San Francisco to Alcatraz is approximately two miles. Not that you'll make it anyway. San Francisco. Welcome to Alcatraz. Now, this block behind me, this is where the guards lived. So they were pretty much in a prison themselves, really. The Indians occupied Alcatraz in November 20th, 1969. Water Tower, the Indians wrote, Peace and freedom, welcome to the free Indian land. We sell them, yes. Yeah, there was a few more that actually uh, died. Go to prison. This is where they have to receive their kit when they arrived at Alcatraz and the showers they had to take. Each cell is five foot wide, six foot deep, nine foot high, with cement walls and steel frame bed and a thin mattress, and a sink with a single cold tap, toilet with no seat, and a small table seat that folds to the wall. You was in this windowless place for 16 to 23 hours a day. Not nice.
some of the most dangerous criminals was in there. Al Capone is probably the most famous Alcatraz inmate, as well as Alvin Kalpas. He was the longest serving Alcatraz inmate, coming in at 26 years. There was also Miss Machine Gun Kelly, uh, Whitney Bulger, who's one of the most famous crime bosses in American history. And then of course there is Robert Shroud. Now Robert Shroud is the legendary Birdman of Alcatraz and spent most of the time in solitary confinement because he was a naughty boy. He is also the I think the one and only serial killer that was in there as well and he spent a lot and a lot of time in there. Now Robert Shroud named the Birdman of Alcatraz because during his time in uh, Letterworth Penitentiary he reared and sold birds and became respected orthologic yeah that thing that looks after birds then from 1942 to 1959 he was incarcerated in Alcatraz where regulations did not allow him to keep birds he was never released from prison uh, and he was imprisoned from 1909 to his death in 1963 uh, yeah so that's Robert Franklin Shroud <laughs> Between 1934 and 1963, a total of 34 men tried to escape from the penitentiary in 14 separate official attempts. Five of these men were never seen or heard from again and they were all presumed down, drowned. Two inmates tried to escape twice. And of course, Frank Morris. Frank Morris was a lifetime criminal who was one of the only men to escape from Alcatraz, allegedly, along with his conspirators. Mm. As you can see, Frank Morris's cell is 138. This is where he attempted, well, he did attempt. He attempted to climb out of the back, which is photographed now, a video now is the back of the cells where he had to climb up. But Frank Morris, he uh, escaped, dug out the back of this cell and escaped. And it's relatively small hole for a man to get through. But anyway, they did it. And personally, do I think he survived and escaped and survived uh, yeah I do why not I think he he'll ended up in Argentina yeah as much you can see but that's an early Tommy gun because so, it's charged on the top that was the same as the one that I shot, which is 928, which is charged on the top. It's got two levers, 
One for single, one for full auto. Well, one's a safety, the back one's a safety, and the front one's full auto. Pretty cool. Prisoners remained on Alcatraz until they was no longer considered to be destructive. An average of between 8 and 10 years. Over the course of 29 years, approximately 1,540 men did time on Alcatraz, no women. Almost none were sentenced directly to the island, all but 71 was transferred from other prisons after creating problems of one kind or another. Trying to escape, defying authority, violence and other activities that sent men to Alcatraz. <coughs> Convenient them in the shop and the actual cell. Turn around then, come on. Oops. She can get in there and then rattle them down the bars. <laughs> it's quite enough, of actually. I'm not getting one. Thirteen dollars, fourteen dollars. Nah. Right, yeah, that was fascinating. That really was cool. Even to be uh, see the original cells from Escape from Alcatraz. Pretty much still is the air, which is pretty very cool. So let's go and have a look at the lighthouse. Another interesting fact there was no executions on Alcatraz, although there was five suicides and eight murders. I've also found some interesting facts about Alcatraz. Alcatraz was named after a pelican. It was built as a fort. Uh, it was also a military prison between 1859 and 1933. The officers who lived there planted gardens, a Pacific Coast first lighthouse. Uh, and it was also never full. Oh, that's quite big. That's quite big. So, guess what film I'm going to watch tonight? Guess what film I'm going to watch tonight? <clears throat> let me think. Ooh, let me escape. See you later. Before it was an old fort as well. So there's a lot of remains of uh, old fort stuff as well. Although this saying was in the mm -hmm. film with Clint Eastwood to escape from Alcatraz. It's technically balance. not, it was just a movie dialogue, but it is true in the statements uh, from the US Bureau of Prisons. But if you disobey the rules of society, they send you to prison. If you disobey the rules of a prison, they send you to Alcatraz. Very cool. That's it, that's it. The Alcatraz tour finished. Enjoyable, really enjoyed that. So I'm on the uh, hard way back now. Hopefully, the land rover's still in one piece and I'm being bits of it, I'm being stolen or smashed windows. So I think I'm gonna head south a little bit and then find somewhere to camp for a night. Have a bit of an early night tonight, uh, about an hour away somewhere. Place further north for me to go back over the bridge. So I think it's more further 
yourself and then I'll head over to uh, meet lunch for Saturday which is Monday now so I've got plenty of time so I'm gonna uh, find somewhere else to do so catch you later, bye bye